We've got a basic VQ35. Well, not so basic. We tweaked it just a little bit. It came out of a Maxima. It's a 3.5 VQ35 DE. We went ahead and uh, built it. So it's got TP pistons, uh, scat rods, balanced polished crank, um, ACL coated brace bearings. Uh, it's got uh, 272 Jimwell cams in it, a set of uh, Jimwell springs in it, Cosworth metal head gasket, ARP head studs, and ARP main studs. Along with that, it's at 8.8 .8 to 1 compression, so we went ahead and added our own turbo kit. It's a 60-1 Turbonetics turbo kit. It's got a set of 800cc PE injectors along with it. And so how do you advantage all that? And how do you make it work into a Centra Spec V? So what we've done is we went ahead and machined our own engine mount kit. It's all billet, aluminum, CNC produced. Uh, we'll get to that later. We'll show you some of those parts. But the most impressive part of, of all is the wiring harness setup. It operates on the CAN bus. All the gauges work. We can even run this motor right here on the ground. We're going to show you that in a second. We're using a OEM stock ECU. We do not have any of the normal components to go with it, like the IPDM, the actual ignition switch, which has an arm signal, and all the other things that Nissan does, does to keep someone from stealing your car. But we can hack into the ACM, eliminate all that, tune the, com the computer completely, go through the OBD2 port, and we've wired up this harness, and we want to show you that this works and how well it works and that it runs beautifully. So Martin here is going to get it fired up. You can also see we've got it connected through the OBD2 port via this and she runs. <laughs> um, we've got the accelerator set pedal set up right here connected to the wiring harness. This simulates this motor running inside your engine bay. So basically what we're trying to show here is we can make this motor run you want to put a VQ35 in your car, give us a call at Z Fever and we'll help you out. We'll make it happen.